Hello my friends, my subscribers. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to assign colors to these black and white icons that are part of the dark user interface. I am using Max 2010, but the technique can be applied to any previous versions. Um, it's basically how do you change colors um, for the icons regardless of the UI. The default with 2010 is using black and white which I personally don't like. Uh, it's pretty easy to change. All you need to do is go to the customize menu, click on the customize user interface option and that should bring up the dialog over here. And in this dialog go to the colors tab. From the list here at the bottom left click on the option called icons enabled and these are the settings that need to be changed in order to get some colors. Um, first thing I usually do is I crank up the saturation all the way to 100 and the value I'm gonna reduce it down to uh, 80, 75 or whatever you like. Um, the transparency can be left at 100 this is important. You want to uncheck the invert option. That way it's uh, taking all the custom values as it is. And the contrast can be left at 100. The gradient map we don't need. I'm gonna completely remove it and give it a value of 0. And then hit apply colors now. And there you go you start seeing some colors here with the icons at the main toolbar, the icons in your command panel and also some color on the icons with the navigation tools. If you want to save this you can go back to customize save custom UI scheme and save this user interface file along with any other changes you might have done to your quad menu or colors or uh, keyboard shortcuts and things like that. Um, hope that helped. Thanks and I'll see you next time.